You're watching Cars.TV. Welcome to the Concours d'Elegance here at Pebble Beach. My name is Egon Zweimüller. My first meeting actually with the car I was growing up with Elvis Presley films. And I've seen the film spin out and I've always dreamed of having an Elvis car. Uh, not a serious production car because Elvis owned many cars. Yeah, he, he loved Cadillacs because he was grown up so poor like Bruce McLaren. You know, they, they came from poor families and uh, I always dreamed of having a, a very, very special car which Elvis has used, uh, which has to have a background and in its old history I think that is the car because I have a fascination for Bruce McLaren and what he did and then I went and uh, looked for the car and in the Matthews collection yeah Harry Matthews had the very very best uh, McLaren collection in America but at that time he would not part with it to be here is an honor on itself yeah it takes a lot of pressure on you as well because you're only allowed to come with the best of the best so you have to do your homework and actually that is not done in the two or three days ahead so you have to prepare for Pebble more or less uh, now for the next year and the team of Pebble Beach was as nice in telling me early enough so we had the time to prepare the car to that personal specifications like I would want it but actually the world how uh, should see it here in Pebble on the lawn so there is a lot of things you have to go through actually the condition of the car the history of the car and uh, especially that car as being the first customer car ever for McLaren I think it is one of the pearls in the pearl string they made here I thought that it will feel a little bit more relaxed because I'm wondering what I could do overnight. Is there that or that or that anything little to what is not right? Because uh, actually I think that is everything right. Yeah, but you're checking everything because you're, if you have the chance to be here, I'm taking that uh, of course as a holiday as well. But uh, it is serious because you think what I could do. You look at the other competitors, what they are doing. And uh, actually now I think after the interview, I will, uh, I will check it again, charge the battery and be happy and enjoy the time of being here because it's only once a year. My name is Hans-Peter Fricke. I'm from Hamburg, Germany. And I'm here with a 1928 Mercedes 680S Open Tourer. And we are in Pebble Beach Concours d'Eleganza. Feel to drive uh, a little like a truck because you have to the steering, you have no hydraulic support, and also the, the gearbox is not synchronized, so you have to double clutch, accelerate a little, and it has to be quick, and you have to think a little, so it's, it's more complicated. So you have to learn about how to handle the car, and you have to be okay. This car is 100 years old, the brake, the clutch, and everything. This is a proud object of German engineership, so we can see how the cars developed. On the other hand side, this car can go 110 miles, so very, very fast that you can see the people think, what? This is uh, impossible, yes. The noise it makes is very nice. Yeah, it's a kind of proud thing of German engineership. The judges, they are proving the car, they're looking at the carrosserie, they ask whether the car is matching numbers, so the engine, the gearbox, the carrosserie, they are all together, they have all the same numbers. We also investigated in the metal of the car, so it can be proved that this metal is coming from the year 1925 to year 1930. Then they will, they will also prove the, the function of the lights, we start the engine, what noise it makes and so on. When you're a football fan, you like to talk other football fans about your teams and so on. We are car guys and we talk, we exchange about gearboxes, superchargers, maybe we do a rally in the Alps. When you have a hobby that you love, you, you like to exchange, listen to something and learning some, something new, that's it. 